a 4.62 timeout. Seven, six, five, four, three, two.
expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812 Six two zero zero seven six nine. Again, that is eight one two six two zero zero seven six nine. Farmer owned, farmer values. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 227-9421 or just visit our website. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. If you're talking, they will 
hear you every single time. Oh, we're getting killed. Yeah, well, Kyle's not here. How come? Kicked off the team. Didn't Tim tell you? Kyle and some other kids got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Come on, it's a first offense, right? That we know of. But why should that matter? He knew not to drink. I've made it clear to Matt, that's what we expect from him. What have you said to Tim? Um, nothing really. You know, a lot of kids try it at this age, so. I... Yeah, well, a lot of kids don't try it too. I'm not saying that Matt's gonna be this perfect kid, but if I don't tell him what we expect and why he shouldn't drink, how's he gonna know? You think kids that age really listen? <laughs> they never admit it, Bill, but they hear more than you think. Talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with kids about underage drinking, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154 In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs, in whatever you do. Talk, they hear you. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. 
Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. We're good at Madeline and Chance's just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with a two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. It is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. I'm Brendan King, in for the Coach Bob Lovell on the Commissioner's Corner as we get set for a great weekend in downtown Indianapolis, the IHSAA Football State Finals at Lucas Oil Stadium. Paul is with us right here. Paul, always a great weekend. I just wanted to get your thoughts quickly on all the preparation, all the travel, everything that goes into a football season. What does this weekend mean to you? Well, it means, you know, honestly, it means a lot, but it, it I told, as I told the group yesterday, uh, this so we won our state championship until at the association, you know, and our our state championship happens every day, uh, after school, in the weight room, on the field, on the court, whatever, with uh, coaches, and and the ability to learn these lifelong lessons that you get to be as part of the team, but. Uh, what's not to celebrate in the greatest venue, uh, professional, one of the greatest venues professionally with Lucas Oil Stadium and, and certainly celebrating on the same field as the home of our Colts, an incredible sponsorship. And, you know, it, uh, we're going to walk through, we're going to play indoor, and I'm going to text my counterpart in Illinois and tell him what a wonderful day it is in Indiana where he's playing outside all weekend. So <laughs> <laughs> there is that. So. Uh, Paul, quickly, so I'm, you know, I'm from Illinois. My senior year, my high school went to the state championship at the University of Illinois in Champaign. I called the game as a 17 year old kid in the cold with, with cold breath coming out of my mouth with every word I said. So I'm definitely thankful to be doing the game in the warm press box at Lucas Oil Stadium. I want to ask you about this, that you're going to play six games on the Lucas Oil Stadium turf, and then the Colts are going to play there on Sunday. It's the second time in three years that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in town. The last, a guy named Tom Brady was the quarterback for Tampa. But for the kids, what does it mean that they're going to play on the field either 48 or 24 hours before NFL guys are going to? That's so unique. It is unique, and it's unique. The partnership is unique, first of all, with the Colts. But the being able to go in that facility and play uh, as, as the curtain raiser is for our professional team on Sunday. And, you know, there's a lot of buzz in the building, especially as the build on Saturday, as they're preparing that building for an NFL broadcast. Uh, our kids will walk out, and they'll see all the carts and the cameras and all the equipment that it takes to put on an NFL game. And I think they, they, uh, they realize how special it is. Well, I know they do. 
but I always try to keep him grounded. As I was talking to some of the student athletes yesterday at our at our meeting, and I said, you know, I always walk in this building, and I look up and I wonder how many bales of hay I can fit in this building. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's again, it's it, it's it's an incredible facility, but it's still, you know, it's still a building, and it's still got the same lines on it as a high school field, and it's still the same distance from one end to the other. So, um, they'll play football just like they do every other game throughout the year. Paul Nyga is with us on the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King in for Coach Bob Lovell. Paul, I know the two-way game will mean a lot to you. Heck, all of them mean a lot to you. But after all, your alma mater is playing. You're from Poseyville. You're a North Posey grad. North Posey to the state title for the first time. What does that mean to your heart? Well, you know, I have such fond memories of growing up in that community. And and the thing that really is special for me is to see people that that watched me play on the basketball court when I was in high school uh, are still there. They're still in the crowd. They're mm. still in the crowd, and I'll be able to uh, reestablish some relationships. And they they never leave when you grow up in a small community. But you, you're able to see people, and I'll see the guy who I picked up pay with, and I'll see the guy who. Uh, um, you know, that that ran the local store in town, and I'll see, you know, all those people will be there because they'll turn the lights off when they leave. They'll all be there, and it'll be it's just special to see the community that I grew up in come up and be able to celebrate such a phenomenal weekend. I'm lucky enough to have the call of that game on the IHSAA Champions Radio Network, so we'll certainly look forward to that. 1A, 3A, and 5A on Friday, 2A, 4A, and 6A on Saturday. He is the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nottig taking some time on the Commissioner's Corner. Paul, congratulations on everything this year with your team. I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Thanks, Brendan, and I will absolutely see you this weekend. Paul Nottig, the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King, and for the coach, Bob Lovell, have a great championship weekend. Thanks for listening to the Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Nidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670.
It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. It is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. I'm Brendan King, in for the Coach Bob Lovell on the Commissioner's Corner as we get set for a great weekend in downtown Indianapolis, the IHSAA Football State Finals at Lucas Oil Stadium. Paul is with us right here. Paul, always a great weekend. I just wanted to get your thoughts quickly on all the preparation, all the travel, everything that goes into a football season. What does this weekend mean to you? Well, it means, you know, honestly, it means a lot, but it, it 
I told as I told the group yesterday, uh, this so we won our state championship until at the association, you know, and, and our our state championship happens every day, uh, after school in the weight room on the field on the court whatever with uh, coaches, and and the ability to learn these lifelong lessons that you get to be as part of the team, but. What's not to celebrate in the greatest venue, uh, professional, one of the greatest venues professionally with Lucas Oil Stadium and, and certainly celebrating on the same field as the home of our Colts, incredible sponsorship. And, you know, it, uh, we're going to walk through, we're going to play indoor, and I'm going to text my counterpart in Illinois and tell him what a wonderful day it is in Indiana where he's playing outside all weekend. So <laughs> <laughs> there is that. So. Uh, Paul, quickly, so I'm, you know, I'm from Illinois. My senior year, my high school went to the state championship at the University of Illinois in Champaign. I called the game as a 17 year old kid in the cold with with cold breath coming out of my mouth with every word I said. So I'm definitely thankful to be doing the game in the warm press box at Lucas Oil Stadium. I want to ask you about this: that you're going to play six games on the Lucas Oil Stadium turf, and then the Colts are going to play there on Sunday. It's the second time in three years that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in town. The last, a guy named Tom Brady was the quarterback for Tampa. But for the kids, what does it mean that they're going to play on the field either 48 or 24 hours before NFL guys are going to? That's so unique. It is unique, and it's unique. The partnership is unique, first of all, with the Colts. But the being able to go in that facility and play uh, as, as the curtain raiser is for our professional team on Sunday. And, you know, there's a lot of buzz in the building, especially as the build on Saturday, as they're preparing that building for an NFL broadcast. Uh, our kids will walk out, and they'll see all the carts and the cameras and all the equipment that it takes to put on an NFL game. And I think they, they, uh, they realize how special it is. Well, I know they do. Uh, but I always try to keep him grounded. As I was talking to some of the student athletes yesterday at our at our meeting, and I said, you know, I always walk in this building, and I look up and I wonder how many bales of hay I can fit in this building. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's again, it, it, it's it's an incredible facility, but it's still, you know, it's still a building, and it's still got the same lines on it as a high school field, and it's still the same distance from one end to the other. So, um, they'll play football just like they do every other game throughout the year. Paul Nyga is with us on the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King, and for Coach Bob Lovell. Paul, I know the two-way game will mean a lot to you. Heck, all of them mean a lot to you, but after all, your alma mater is playing. You're from Poseyville. You're a North Posey grad. North Posey to the state title for the first time. What does that mean to your heart? Well, you know, I have such fond memories of growing up in that community, and and the thing that really is special for me is to see people that that watched me play on the basketball court when I was in high school uh, are still there. They're still in the crowd. They're mm. still in the crowd, and I'll be able to uh, reestablish some relationships. And they they never leave when you grow up in a small community. But you, you're able to see people, and I'll see the guy who I picked up hay with, and I'll see the guy who. Uh, um, you know, that that ran the local store in town, and I'll see, you know, all those people will be there because they'll turn the lights off when they leave. They'll all be there, and it'll be it's just special to see the community that I grew up in come up and be able to celebrate such a phenomenal weekend. I'm lucky enough to have the call of that game on the IHSAA Champions Radio Network, so we'll certainly look forward to that. 1A, 3A, and 5A on Friday, 2A, 4A, and 6A on Saturday. He is the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nottig taking some time on the commissioner's corner. Paul, congratulations on everything this year with your team. I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Thanks, Brendan. And I will absolutely see you this weekend. Paul Nottig, the commissioner's corner. I'm Brendan King. And for the coach, Bob Lovell, have a great championship weekend. Thanks for listening to the commissioner's corner with IHSAA commissioner, Paul Nidig and coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.